What's that? I can't hear you guys because of all the goddamn fireworks going off. It's summer, so it's the summer event where you get this music at nighttime, fireworks go off, and uh, it actually takes me back. It makes me nostalgic to when we started this series like three years ago because it was around this time that I did start playing this again after like 12 years away. And if you watch those terrible, terrible videos, you'll have just had to put up with me complaining about this the whole time. Because the goddamn ding, ding, ding is so repetitive. But, um, it is kind of cool. I, I love it when MMOs do seasonal stuff. I just wish that, uh, it wasn't so goddamn loud. But anyway, welcome back to some FF11. We got our Chocobo license last time. Yay! And we're back in Sandy because I want to crack on with some nation missions. We need to chat with, I think, any Sandy guard will do. Um, we're going to chat with this guy. And see if we can, uh, yeah, do our next mission. Which, um, ah, the last one we did was the Devoy Report, I think. And now we need to infiltrate Devoy, I guess. We're going back. Actually, again, it's been so long since we did that last mission. I forget even how to get there, but uh, anyway. Let's see if we can do this one. You've come at just the right time. Prince Trion wants a word with you. It seems uh, he heard of you when you received your adventurer's certificate. Head to the chambers of Prince Trion inside Chateau de Aragail as soon as you are presentable. I, I, I don't like your tone. I'm very res presentable right now. Look at this mask. I mean, yeah, I really don't look like I'm dressed to address a prince, but that's what we're going to do, goddammit. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to go out and have a word with Trion. I assume it's going to be fairly straightforward to find him, I hope. Because I haven't, I haven't actually looked up what to do for this mission. I'm just kind of winging it. Although I will absolutely look up the wiki if I get stuck. Which will probably happen. And uh, walking past the auction house. Oh, I wonder if there's anything actually for sale. I'm going to quickly check. Um, and I really am sorry about all the goddamn fireworks. It's so loud. Let's have a look. Let's actually see if I could buy those grass, uh, the, the gorse bite grass that we got for the chocobos last time. I don't know what it would be under, though. Medicines? It's medicines for chocobos. I guess we could buy some X-potions. Um, it's probably others, right? Or is it food? No, it's probably... Is it food? This is the thing. Is there an actual, like, search option? Or do you just have to go through? It, I, I don't know if this is an actual search option. Um, miscellaneous? This is... Oh, man, this is such an old system. This is... I mean, compared to modern games... I know... I know FF11... I know FF11 looks really archaic. And it is. But boy, do I still love it. Yeah, I have no idea where that grass is. But there's still, you know, looks like there are actually things to buy at the auction house. Um, not many, but some. So let's head north. Um, I suppose I could just cut to when I get there, to be honest. I, I'm not sure who I really talk to, though, to get to Treon. I assume he's not just going to be walking around the chateau. Although maybe he is. Maybe he is. What I do want to do, though, is quickly thank everyone for watching uh, the last episode. I I know it's been a very long time, and this playthrough is just so... I kind of want to... Wow. I forgot there was this many goddamn decorations. This is crazy. Um, I... What was I saying? <laughs> I was, um... I, yeah, I'm really tem I was really tempted to just start from scratch, because I'm really not happy with, like, the quality of... of the previous videos in this series at all. It's terrible. Like, I'm usually not happy with my audio anyway, but like, well, damn, it was really bad. Um, but, uh, but you know what? That would just take too long. It would just take too long and, um, you know, I barely have enough time to play this as it is. So starting a completely new character and doing all the same missions we've just done. I mean, I guess I could start in a different starting city, but I never really did that back in the day. Oh, thank God we've actually got, like, good music. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Right, who do I talk to? Who do I talk to to find Trion? I might just talk to everyone. Halver, hello. Uh, you must be wary. Uh, weary. 
At, at ease in the chateau, there's much uh, here to soothe the mind and warm the spirit. Okay. Um, just some dudes with some chests. What are you doing here? Celebratory chest. Oh, I can buy... Oh, I can buy freaking party hats and poppers and things. Okay. I really don't need any of those. Where is Prince Trion? Ah, okay. The Royal Knights quarters down the corridor to the right is the central garden. I'm guessing that's not where I need to go. Maybe I just need to head into, like, through those doors. Uh, yeah, that's not where I need to go. Let's go this way. Um, Arsha. No entry without permission. Well, I kind of do need to see the prince. Entrance by appointment only. Did I... Can I just go in? It's locked tight. Oh. Well, you guys... Who do I speak to about having an appointment? I have no idea. Maybe I need to... Oh man, this is the problem, right? <laughs> this game does not hold your hand at all. I keep on pressing the goddamn wrong button for the menu. Um, where are we going? Let's have a look at our missions. Nations. Infiltrate Devoy. That's all we get. The scout in Devoy needs the help of an adventurer. Well, I, I need to talk to Prince Treon first. I don't even know how I know that. Because he's not told me yet. Um... I... Temple Knight's Quarters? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just just look it up. Otherwise, I mean, this is what I'd be doing back in the day. I'd be running around talking to everyone. But that, for the sake of a let's play, this just ain't gonna roll. So I will be right back. Okay, that was hilarious. I was off looking for the uh, for the wiki, and the game kicked me off. It disconnected me. Oh man. Anyway, um, so I've actually decided. You know what? Probably a good idea to check the map, wouldn't it? Yeah. Look, Prince Royal Tree on uh, room. If I had just looked at the map, I would have I would have found out where to go. Uh, oh, no, not that way. I think it'd be this way. Yeah. So we'll go chat to the prince. Aunt, I think we have a... Don't we have a quest for him where we've got to try and find someone to go out with him or something? Let me quickly check. I swear we picked up a quest. Yeah, fit for a prince. Yeah, Halver asked us to find a suitable bride for him. I have no idea who that is. Um... Maybe we'll do that eventually? I don't know. I keep on saying that, but realistically, there's just, like I said, there's just too much in this game to do. You know, people have been playing this game for years and still not have done everything. But uh, we'll go see if we can chat to the prince. Oh, can I not... Can I not go through that door? Is that... Is that door... I keep on pressing the start button. I've gone the... Wait, what? Did I seriously go out the wrong door? Wow. Wow. How did I do that? Because I'm mage, that's why. Because I'm mage. Yeah, I can went out the complete... I got all turned around. It's this way. And up the stairs. There we go. What a grand chateau this is, though. So, yeah. I, I, could, I could do, like, a new character in a different starting city, but it just, it would feel weird. It would feel weird not starting in Sandy, and if I just did a new character in Sandy, it's like, well, you're just watching the same shit I've already done. So, we're just gonna crack on with this. I can only apologize for the earlier videos. Alright. Cutscene time? Hope I'm not interrupting. God, I really want his armor. Tetrex, many are those who speak of your triumphs in the name of Sandoria. Uh, or Sandoria. I've never really known how to say that. As much as I have heard your journeys abroad, uh, hey, that's the name of the quest I did. And how you fought, uh, nether beasts in the lair of the enemy. So the return of the Shadow Lord is at hand. Perhaps never will the hand of evil be banished from this world. But always will the righteous stand up to face it. Am I not right, Tetrix? Tetrix is such a dumb name. The Royal Knights have put a, uh, put a single purpose, to exterminate the orcs who ravage our lands. We have sent scouts already to the orcish stronghold of Devoy. They are to report, to the orc uh, report on the orcs' numbers, map the territory, and find their lines of supply. Once uh, such knowledge is ours, we shall strike. 
but the scout's report has not yet arrived. What could this mean? What? The Temple Knights have also sent scouts to Devoy? On whose orders? I don't know. I do not remember. Oh, P Pi, Pi. I'm just going to call him Pi. I knew it. What madness has made him do this? We must not be dismayed, Tetrix. I want you to head to Devoy straight away. Seek the Royal Knight Quemarikond Qu 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 and take his Royal Knight's Devoy reports. Now, make haste. Will do. Hopefully we can get there a damn sight quicker now we can ride a Chocobo for about half an hour. The problem is, Chocobos still run away if you get off them, so that kind of sucks, but it's fine. And, uh, yeah, it should make our journey a little bit nicer. Plus, I might, if we're going to be going to the Litien Plateau, which I think we are, because I think we have to go through Jugna Forest, or j j j whatever it's called. What? How the frick do I get out of this place? Um, might be worth doing that quest that we've got for the missing Chocobo. Or at least having a look for it, but then again, I mean, the, the odds of me finding it are so slim, because that area is huge. And if we don't know exactly where to look, that's just going to be the whole goddamn video. That's going to be me all night. So, um, we won't do that. Can you let me out, please? Yes, please. I must hear the sound of the fireworks again. It soothes my soul. Not. Oh, yay, it's morning! Yay, the proper sandy music. Right, I'll stop complaining about it now. Oh, I love you, Sandy. I love this place. Right. Should we go to the Chocobo Stables? I think we will. Where are the Chocobo Stables? Uh... Are they... They must be in south. Yep, I think they're in south. Okay, let's go. Uh, another thing I should probably look up is maybe some more trusts, although at the moment we're really not struggling. I'm pretty happy with my current party, but it would be nice to maybe see some, some different ones. Uh, but freaking Shantoto. Shantoto, don't mess around. Uh, I know Shantoto's a pretty big character in the game, I really don't know much about her. And, uh, yeah, at this point, I mean... How many expansions are there for FF11? I know I ha I technically have all of them now, but there's no way we're ever getting through all of them. There's just no freaking way. But I do wonder how the plot of FF11 evolves over time, because, again, I, I just never really got very far in the story back in the day. It was it was a long slog doing anything, you know? I was, I was more just worried about leveling up and, and unlocking jobs and stuff, and just, you know, playing with people. You know, the, the, the social part of it. Was, was more interesting to me than the story per se, but nowadays I'm more like, you know what? It would be nice to actually see what the story is all about. Uh... Swear there was... Oh, crap, of course. Yeah, it's behind the, uh... The auction house. But uh, I wonder, actually, if we get to level 30, I'm... I'm curious when the next set of armor is available because I seem to recall, I know I only got to level 30 back in the day, right? Uh, I think I was a paladin. And I remember having a different set of armor to this that looked really cool. And I don't know if I can equip it yet or what it was even called. But, uh, right. Let's have a chat to a few people around here because I wonder if they'll clue me in on the whole chocobo raising thing. That's what I said. But you know what? Oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Can I help you? Oh, you've got a link shell. No, I don't need to do that. That's like your chat groups, your free companies or whatever. Um, I do not need to do that because I am a loner. What a random, what a random NPC to ha actually be in charge of that stuff. Right, let's go inside the stables. Right. I would like to rent a bird, please. Although, I would also like to maybe just get some info. Hantillion? Trade an egg to me if you want to start raising a chocobo. Right. So, if I do find this missing chocobo and complete that quest, we do get a chocobo egg. So, then I could just take it to you. And then maybe you'll explain the whole thing to me. Maybe we will do that eventually. Because having my own chocobo that I could summon at any time would be... Magnificent. 
but uh, yeah, it's going to take some work. So, I realize that you're in a hurry, sir. However, might I make a simple request? One of our associates, Chocobos, has lost their way and cannot return home. Would you be so kind as to deliver her to the Republic stables in Bastok Mines? Oh. Um, that's freaking miles away. Um, I have better things to do right now. I just want to ride a... I just want to rent a Chocobo. Oh! Wow, it's only 79 gil. Yes, I do. Yay. So, we've got quite the trek ahead of us, but it shouldn't take too long. And since we've not really done a lot of Chocobo travel, as far as I remember, we're going to show it. Most of it, maybe. Because it's a freaking Chocobo. And... You get the theme, and... It, oh, I love it. Right, so we need to head down to the Latien Plateau. I mean, in all honesty, I could probably teleport a lot closer to where we need to go. Do I have a map of Devoy? I forget if I had a map of that place. I know I've been there before. The, the very last nation quest, which I probably did... Crap, like, at least a year ago now. We did go there. So... We'll see. I, I, I don't know what else this quest entails, whether we're going to have any fights. I think level-wise, this is supposed to be like level 35, so we're probably a little bit under-leveled if we were doing this like by ourselves, but we've got, we've got friends. They may not be real, but we've got friends. Oh... Although it is, it is kind of a shame listening to the Chogo theme in this particular area, because you guys know I love the music in Ron Fair. Holy crap, I love, I love this zone. Okay, we're nearly, we're nearly out of here. Um, and it's weird to me that the, you don't actually get like a... Can I hover over the... Yeah, it doesn't tell you how long you actually have left on your Chocobo, which is just so weird. Like, why wouldn't they just have a timer? There might be one, actually. In fact, is there a, a menu for timers? Because usually that's a thing in MMOs. Maybe, but maybe not in this one. I don't know. Ugh. It is going to be so sad when this game eventually gets taken and down. I mean, there was that rumored... Well, it wasn't rumored. They were actually working on it. The uh, Like a mobile version of it. But sadly, that was cancelled. I mean, there's always going to be, like, unofficial servers, I guess. So these games won't, like, be gone forever. You just won't... It won't be, like, official. But, um... Because I've I watched, uh... Because I've been feeling really nostalgic for 1.0 of FF14. Because I remember loving that, even though it was a piece of shit. Really. Uh, I'm really nostalgic for it. And I'm just looking up YouTube videos of, of uh, 1.0 and seeing people do some of the fights that I remember doing and just walking around the, the world because it looked so different. And I, 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 maybe this is a controversial opinion, but I still really prefer the UI design of 1.0. I much prefer that look. I mean, probably because it does harken back to 11's design really well. But, um, you know, everything else about A Realm Reborn is way better, don't get me wrong. But I do kind of miss some of the music of 1.0 and just the general look of it. Like, the animations I thought were better. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, you know, it, it was a pretty, pretty piss-poor first iteration. And, uh, it is raining. Gosh, how many times have we walked through this zone now in this playthrough? It feels like quite a lot. So I have no idea where this missing Chocobo would be, because again, this area is just freaking massive. Um, but Jukna Forest is all the way over there. We could have teleported to the, uh to the crystal and made this journey a bit shorter, but then we won't have our chocobo, so we're just going to put up with it. But, uh, yeah, you just... It's amazing how much quicker you can get around just on a chocobo. It's insane. But I love that they really make you work for it in this game, you know? Like, you have to be level 20, you have to do a little quest, and, you know, back in the day... Oh, the rain sound suddenly stopped. It was hard. It was hard just getting to Juno. It felt like such an achievement. And getting your, ch you know, your, choke your very own Choco license. It just felt like 
Oh man, I have I have done something of of serious like you know importance. I love it. Oh man, I feel sorry for this guy who just stood out here all day. But please do in the comments if if you want to share some of your FF11 stories. I am all ears. I love hearing about people's you know times with this game. I know not many people are probably going to watch this series, especially if they've seen, like, my, my previous videos. They're probably like, oh my god, this is trash. But, um, yeah, this is just something I'm going to play whenever I get time. I just love it. It's also, like, freaking 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's- wow, it's bang on 3 o'clock in the morning. I didn't even know that was the time. I just assumed. Oh my god, am I psychic? Am I actually psychic? That was- I was bang on three o'clock. That's so spooky. This is the power of FF11, guys. This is the power of this wonderful, wonderful game. And, uh, it's kind of nice being so overpowered in an area as well. Like, if anything attacks me, we could just- we could rinse it just on our own. Um, but yeah, we're- we're gonna get more powerful. I'm gonna break that level 30 barrier, I swear. And that will have made this all worthwhile, because then I could say, well, I got further than I did back as a kid. And played this a lot less, actually. God, the amount of hours I put into this. Frightening. Frightening. And I didn't even play it as much as I would have wanted to either, because, you know, I played it on my mum's laptop and I, I couldn't just play it all the time. Plus, I had stupid school to go to. Ugh. Dude, this this game is just so special. Anyway, I'll stop gushing about it now because I'm I'm just I'm probably saying stuff that I've said a million times in older videos. Uh, but you know what? It's okay. All right, we're nearly nearly at Jung Junga J Jugna. I want to say Junga sometimes. Jenga Jenga Forest. Ah. <sighs> The Chocobo theme has has decided it's not going to uh, play anymore. That must be... Maybe they didn't make it loot for some reason? Oh well. <laughs> uh. So, anyway. Um, I think we pro probably will just join you guys uh, once we're in the forest and I'm kind of near to where I need to be. Because uh, we've seen enough Chocobo riding now, I reckon. Okay, well, we're back in the forest. Uh, it's weird seeing it so sunny. I'm used to this, like, being really, like, shrouded and misty and, like, overcast, but, uh, yeah. Um, I completely forgot where Devoy was because it's not marked on the bloody map. And, uh, yeah, that is something that had escaped my memory, so I just had to quickly look up where the heck this place was. But it's down here. Um, I guess the hint is that there's just a crap ton of orcs on the way there. Uh, I should just follow this little river. And then make a right, yeah, where you start seeing all the barricades and stuff. Okay, so once we get into Devoy, we need to find uh, a scout who's gone missing, right? That's kind of why we're here. Ooh, big scary tiger. Not sure how tough that one would be, actually. We should be fairly okay in this area still if we get attacked, but we're just going to leg it. We're just going to leg it on our chocobo. Get to Devoy, and I really do hope we've got a map. I, although, then again, that was kind of like the point of sending out scouts, wasn't it? To map the place? So maybe we don't have a map yet? Maybe we're not supposed to? I don't know. We're about to find out. Or re-find out, because again, we've been here before. Well, maybe we... No, didn't we just come... No, we did. We did come here, because there was a guy outside, I think. Oh, I don't know. My memory sucks. Right, in we go to... Oh. Oh yeah, chocobos can't go into orc-infested canyons. Okay, that's fair enough. Bye-bye, chocobo. How do we get off? There we go. Oh, and yeah, you can freaking dig! If we had any Geisel greens, we could dig, and I think you can find treasure. Which just makes me think of FF9. I'm so glad they put this in here. Can we please get this back in a freaking future, like, single-player FF? That'd be great. Thanks, Square. Uh, right, let's dismount. So, I guess we'd have to... Like, go back the long way. Okay, he just ran straight into that stone. Yeah, that's normal. Little did you know, chocobos can phase through matter. 
Right, we are in Devoy. Where it is eerily quiet, except for the sounds of random birds. Oh, there we go. Oh, straight into a cutscene. R Russian Fonger. F Fogner. I see, it was just a waste of time. I assumed that because the orcs too were searching for something that's... Well, no matter. The fact is, there is someone else looking for the sword. And either they have got to it first, or... I must inquire with my sister. At her coming of age, she learned all there was to know of that sword from our father. Nuisance. Will you lend me a hand, Vorderam? I know my sister has left, some, uh, left something for me, and I intend to find it. Oh. Wonder what that is. Hmm. Oh, hello. Are you, uh... You're not the scout, are you? You've no business with me, have you? I don't know, do I? I guess not. Freaking loot blocks. Hello. I got no interest in dealing with Alexa. You don't... Don't you... Uh, gotta go into... No, I... I I can't talk. Uh, thank God we have a map. Okay. Now, we either search this whole place, trying to find the scout, or I look it up. This could take a while if I don't look it up. What, uh, what level are the... St yeah, let's quickly check. Oh shit, don't you see me? Don't you see me? What if you're dangerous? Ah, easy prey. What am I worried about? What am I worried about? In fact, this might be a good chance to get some more weapon skill. Training, maybe. Yeah, attack it anytime you want. Okay, so, yep, some parrying evasion skills. There we go! Yeah, this, this might actually be a very good time. Although I'm, I'm still going to summon my yeah, trusts, I think, just because otherwise this could be very slow going. Oh no, he's casting Bio again. I am poisoned as well. Oh, now another bug has joined in. Ah, evasion's going up though. Yeah, there's quite a few orcs here. This could be this could be difficult if I don't. Ooh. Ooh. They're actually hurting me a lot here. Um, let's go for uh Mighty Strikes. So now I'm super powerful. This dude's nearly dead anyway. Ooh, that crit though. That crit was juicy. 70 evasion. Do a weapon skill. Let's go for a hard slash. Oh, more and more orcs keep turning up. All right, let's kill this last one. All right now, kill this guy. In fact, get some protect on me. That probably should have been something I did ages ago. Yeah, we're definitely we're definitely summoning some help in this one. Just because if we get overwhelmed like this, it's it's difficult. I mean, we could cure ourselves, actually. Keep on forgetting we do have some white magic. But does that really cure much? 15 HP. No. No. Our magic uh, skill sucks. That's okay. Right. Power slash. Wow, yeah, our great sword skills got up to like 51. All right, let's back off. Let's back off because we need to heal. Um, some pretty good XP though. And yes, let's get some trusts out. I keep on pressing that goddamn wrong button. Let's get our friends. And hopefully one of them will cast some cure on me, because I really need it. Yeah. You guys want to cast some cure on me? 
Otherwise, I'm going to have to rest. Well, you know what? I'm going to rest anyway. And uh, I'll use this time to just quickly look and see the general area where we need to be going. Goddamn, Shantoto, you scary. Alright, I think I know where to go. And I'm kind of mostly healed. Uh, thanks for the help, guys. Thanks for nothing. Anyway, so if we st stick to the right-hand wall, apparently, and eventually we should get to a bridge or something where we need to interact with an NPC, we'll get the reports, and then I guess we can just leave. It sounds like it's going to be fairly straightforward. Uh, just going to have lots of orcs to kill. And I guess, I guess even if it is straightforward, this would be difficult because of all the orcs, especially if you are doing it solo. Um, I, I don't, I truly don't know if I even got this far in the story back in the day. My memory is, you know, terrible a lot of the time, but like, again, I didn't really focus too much on the story when I played this back in the day. It was mostly just leveling, so... This is cool, though. This is cool. We're getting to see some of the game that I probably just didn't really bother with. Uh, yeah, we want to go this way. Uh, I guess those orcs just aren't bothered about us. I mean, I know we are quite high level still, but... Usually orcs are aggressive bastards. Right, we want to take a left here, I think. Are you going to attack us, Curse Maker? Yes, he is. Oh, he's trying to put us to sleep. Oh, no. Guys, defend me. I'm currently very vulnerable. Attack. Wow, the thing put me to sleep and then he's just going to stand there and not even bother trying to kill me. Oh, now he's blinding me. Great. While wow, these guys just watch. Bloody great. When is sleep going to wear off? Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, do you want to help? Like, at all? I'm no longer asleep. Yay, right. Quick, before <laughs> before he does it again. Oh wow, look at that. Like, instant. And we aggroed the wasp. We aggroed the wasp. We nearly freaking killed the wasp. Okay, ooh, a beehive chip. Right. Yeah, this would be a bit of a nightmare if you were uh, if you're on your own at this kind of level. I don't know if you could really do it unless you like cast uh, invisible on yourself, which I think the wiki actually suggests. But maybe we can get away. We're not doing. We'll just kill everything. We should be fine. I ain't scared of a bunch of orcs. I mean, I was when I was by myself a little bit, <laughs> but hey, there we go, level thirty, baby. I've officially at least got to the same point I was when I was a kid. The, the heights of level 30. And I thought level 30 was like such a badass thing. Like, but man, it really isn't, is it? At least not nowadays. Well, saying that, I still remember, you know, back, back when I was playing, I think the level cap was 75. And seeing all the level 75 people running around, I used to examine them look at all their equipment and go, God, I wish I was that awesome. And it was never meant to be, but maybe one day. Maybe as a 32-year-old. Um, I'm pretty sure... Ah! There's an NPC over there. I think that's the guy we need to talk to. The wiki says he might walk towards you. Oh, he just disappeared. Where did he go? I hope I don't need to be invisible to do this. Maybe I just need to follow him? Let's just kill everything. Let's just kill everything. Because again, it's good, uh, it's good training. That is a very nice bow the Night Raider. Should probably be using some, uh... Ooh, you're actually way tougher, I've noticed. You're way tougher. Yeah, this... Is this guy... I'm trying to... Yeah, incredibly tough. Yeah. I wonder if this... Oh, he's... Okay, he's dead now. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um... Oh, there, there's the dude. I need to go chat with him. Let's kill these things quick. Yeah, I think... I wonder if that was like a notorious monster. Because these other guys are nowhere near as tough. 
Oh, don't bugger off. No, I need to talk to you, sir. Sir. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, guys. That's the thing. They need to build up their TP as well. Nice bit of uh, air roll there. Why am I missing this guy? Come on. I'm so glad I'm with you guys. There's no way I'll be able to do this by myself. Right. Kill this guy. And then hopefully none of them will have respawned and we can talk to this NPC. I've only just realized my controller's got a vibration. That's cool. Oh my lord. Actually, this guy's proving a. Oh no, he's, he's still pretty squishy. I just keep missing. Where's that guy? Okay, he's still there. He's coming back. He's coming back. Great sword level 53. Good, good, good. You guys want to kill this guy yet? They're pretty, they're pretty chunky around these parts. Yeah, they must be... I don't know what level, technically, but... Yeah, inc oh, they're all incredibly tough. Wow, so you go from, like, the beginning area of this, like the entrance with easy prey, and then incredibly tough just by going around the corner. And we've got another level. I have officially surpassed my kid self. I am level 31. Oh, you, come back here. Get back here right now. You've got a report for me, sir. Excuse me. Oh, don't walk into it. You know what? I'm just going to wait for him to come back. I do not want to fight another orc. Uh, especially since my uh, companion's MP are running a little bit low. All right, you should come back. I don't know why the orcs aren't attacking him. Oh, man, I'm level 31, guys. Ooh. Right. Hello. What? I apologize, but I am in quite a hurry. What is this? You were ordered by Prince Trion to return with the report? Wonderful. To tell you the truth, I have been lost for the past few days. I cannot make heads or tails of where I'm going in this dreadful place. You just keep going backwards and forwards along the same area, dude. Without this vital report, the Royal Knights will be in the dark. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Here is the report. Now hurry back to Prince Trion. Deep into void, the Royal Knight Bernal and his Taru Taru companion are waiting for assistance. You must make haste and deliver that report to Prince Trion. Okay, do we not need to go and help the those other people then? No? Right, let's get out of here. Um, it would be probably quicker to just die. And, and return to home point. But now I'm worrying... I forget, will I use, lose XP now if I die? I probably will. Not that it's really that big of a deal. Look, I'm almost halfway to level 32 already. Bloody hell. Um. Yeah, part of me wishes I, I hadn't bothered with the EXP ring now. It's, it's almost making it trivial. But no, um, I'm sure it'll get a little bit tougher later on. And it really, this is, this is all about just seeing as much of the game as possible. I don't need it to be super challenging or anything, but... Uh, yeah, I think um, I think there's a book we might be able to teleport from, actually, at the entrance. I don't want to go that way. Might be able to just teleport from the uh, the book at the entrance, maybe. Yeah, it's this way. Now, are they going to attack me? They really shouldn't do, because I'm very high level. No, they're not fussed. And yet, just around the corner, you can encounter incredibly tough orcs. That's crazy. FF11, you just don't care, do you? You just don't care. Right. Uh, there's the book. Right, can I teleport from this? Teleportation assistance. Uh, yes, Sandy. Northern Sandy, that'd be perfect, actually. Uh, 
travel using a thousand gil or 50 tabs. I've only got 134 tabs, so you know what? We've got plenty of money. Perfect. Let's go hand in the quest, and uh, that'll be another nation mission done. No, I, I have a feeling I did do this story mission. I must have done. I must have done. I played the game for so long. I must have at least done this many. Well, who freaking knows at this point? Right. Yay, fireworks. I'll just meet you guys back at uh, Prince Trion. Okay, here we are. Let's go hand him the report, and we should be done. I don't know if he's going to be pleased with what the report says, but... You're back. Quick, show me the Royal Knights Devoy report. What a report. We must send troops immediately. No, but wait. This matter requires more than Royal Knights. Confound it. We need Temple Knights as well. Oh, well, not the Temple Knights. Performant. Where, where are P Pi and Cr Cirilla? Your Highness, Lady Cirilla is in the quarters of the Temple Knights. As for Prince P Pi... Tetrix, your mission is over. Thank you. Yay! We did a mission! Da -da 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 -da. So that's probably got me some uh, rank points, hasn't it? Oh my god, I keep pressing that goddamn button. Uh, let's have a look at our status. Actually, that won't tell us, will it? Uh, well, maybe it will. Hang on. Profile. Ah, there we go. Yeah, look, our bar's filled, so... I'm not sure if we can do the next mission straight away. I might have to look into that for next time. Um, but yeah, please do give me suggestions for stuff you'd like to see me do in the game. Can't promise I'll get around to it, but it just gives me ideas. And uh, also, please let me know if you are enjoying this. I don't know if this was a shorter video or not, but, you know, it's a nice focused video. These videos don't need to be super lengthy if, you know... I, the thing is, I only have so much planned, and really I didn't know how long that mission was going to take us. So, uh, but yeah, with Chocobos, way quicker. Way quicker. Uh, which is great. So, uh, this is the end of this episode of Final Fantasy XI. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Uh, please, you know, do what you can to help the videos. Like them, comment. Oh, I think I'm about to disconnect anyway. Uh, perfect. And uh, I will hopefully see you in the next one whenever that is. Take care. Bye-bye for now.